Good morning, Facebook. Grace and peace to you all. In our will, there is both beauty and freedom found in our choices. There is also death and bondage found in our choices, but they are our choices. Think of back in the garden. Um, in that moment, they were connected to, they were created by God. They were given the choice to walk with God, to choose to remain connected to the source of life and love itself, or they could choose at the very core to be their own. And that's what they chose in that moment. They chose, the, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I've come that they may have life and life abundantly. Abundant life is found in him. There is both liberty and love found. Think of why Christ came. He came to seek and save the lost. He came to reconcile us back into that right relationship with the Father. He came to restore all things, to heal the brokenness within us because we were fractured apart from the love of God by our choices. But we have the same choices today. Am I his or am I my own? And that's what he says, you know, that's what Jesus is teaching. The one who tries to hold on to his life, which is that life apart from God, right? That's where, where you're going to find death and destruction and all those things. But when you are reconciled into that right place with God, beautiful things happen in the life. There's beauty found in, in, our, in our choices. You can choose from this day forward to be his fully. You can choose to walk by the Spirit from this day forward right? You can, you can be restored and reconciled and overwhelmed by his grace and his love and his mercy, or you can continue to walk and live as your own. That's the beauty of it. I choose liberty. I choose freedom. I choose love. I choose him to inhabit and dwell and, and guide me day by day. And that's our choice. Because guess what? We live in a fallen, broken world. See, we're looking for God's love in our circumstances. But God demonstrates his love for us that while we are yet sinners, Christ died for the ungodly, right? He sets us free from that bondage of self-centered, self-seeking living to live united with him, being made whole, reconciled. He came and he seek and he saved this lost man and he'll do the same for you. And then what he does giving us his Holy Spirit, he leads us. Those who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God, right? And then as we are led by the Spirit of God, we can continue to choose life day after day after day. And it's a beautiful thing because guess what? People are going to let you down. Circumstances are going to let you down. There's death, there's struggle, there's brokenness all around you. But Christ in you is where we find life. May you experience him today. May you yield your life fully to him and be his. And that's where we truly find life. Because, or we can choose not to. In our choices, there's so much power. There's the power of life and there's the power of death, right? And that's what took place in the garden. They chose to be their own. And death came into the world in that very moment. But it wasn't, it wasn't a physical death. It was spiritual death. It was a disconnection from God, and that's why Christ came. He came to reconcile us back into that right relationship with God. He came and he seeked and he saved the lost, one after one after one. The question is, are you his? And you have the freedom to choose to, to be reconciled to love, to be reconciled to the source of life and love itself. That is your beautiful choice. And without that choice, there is no love, right? That's why he's, God is a God of freedom. God is a God of love and choice. It's your ability to either choose or not choose. May you choose wisely. God loves you.